Unified bocce teams with eight total team members, four athletes and four partners should not be rotating during the frames. Each set of two athletes and two partners must remain on the same ends of the court throughout the entire game. In this first example, we will show how you can rotate when you have four athletes and three partners or four partners and three athletes available for a match. Every game will start frame one with two athletes and two partners on one end of the court. The other members of the team will be sitting at the chairs on the opposite end of the court, waiting for their turn to play in frame two. As you can see, there is a missing spot, which is where the rotating player will come to. One partner from frame one will then walk down to the other end of the court and join their teammates for frame two. These four teammates will roll the balls for frame two. After the second frame is over, the partner that originally started at this end of the court will then walk down to the opposite end of the court to play in frame three. After the third frame is over, the partner who has not yet rotated will walk down to the other end to join her teammates for frame four. It's important to ensure two athletes and two partners are rolling the balls in each frame. The fourth frame is ready to be played with two athletes and two partners. The partner who originally rotated first is up again to rotate back down to the opposite end of the court for frame five. This rotation pattern will continue until the game is over, whether that is 16 points or 30 minutes.